Good morning. This video is for Lind. Uh, it's on the Janome MB4, how to um, upload a design file from a USB as well as change colors for the thread needles and insert manual stops. It's important to know that the needles run right to left. Uh, one, two, three, four, black being number one and yellow being number four for me right now. First thing we want to do is open the design file. We'll go right here. The USB is already in, so we'll select the USB folder. And we'll just pick up this first design. All right, as it comes in, you'll see that the first line is highlighted. This number on the left is the needle number. Number in the middle here is the step number, color the thread for that needle. In order to edit, we'll come here and here and look at the image. It's now changed to an outline, which is the first step. Step number one, needle number one is black. I want to put a stop in there because that's for applique and I want to put my fabric down. This button right here has now changed that number on the needle one to red, which means now that will stop after it's finished stitching. Okay, we'll want to go to step number two to make sure that that's how we want it. Use the cursor here to go down. Line number two is now highlighted. And what we'll do is, let's see, well, my thread number two is also white, so that looks good to me. So I'm just gonna move right on through and go to number three, which is silver. I want that thread color to be white though, and so I'll wanna change that to a two, to needle number two. So I'm gonna come right here, press the two. It is now at needle number two, step number three, and it's going to go to uh, white for me rather than the silver gray. Um, let's move down to the next step using the cursor down. That's white on needle number two. Works for me. We'll move down to the next step, which is number four. And each time you're noticing that this changes to show you what part of the design you're at. Needle number one is black. I want to stop after that though because on the next color, I'm going to put a stop in. See that number one needle now changed to red. I'm going to go down to the step number six, which has a stop in it, and I don't want to stop there. So I'm going to press this button again and the red comes off. Go ahead, proceed down, changing colors and threads as you need to know now. Once you get to the end of the design, if you're satisfied with everything, click there brings you back to the main editing mode. Click one more time and you're back into the stitch mode. Go ahead, click start, and you'll be on your way. Hope this was helpful to you, Lind. If you have any other questions, please feel free to email me or message me here on Facebook. All right, everyone have a great day. Bye-bye.